Hey everybody, Taylor here, and it's time for Daily Sequel Challenge numero 18. This one we want to see information about our customers by country. Okay, so we're going to show a list of customer countries, the number of customers from those countries, and then the total amount of payments those customers have made the ones that are from those countries. Okay, so let's show the schema here. We are working with our good old friend, the retailer database, yet again. And so this one's interesting. We want to see some aggregation, of course. We want to see the country name. We want to see the number of countries and then the amount that have been paid. Interesting thing with this one is that um, our aggregates, we have two of them, coming from separate tables. So we'll need to be able to account for that. All right. So first thing we want to do is we want to find the list of the countries and then the number of customers from those countries. That part should be pretty simple. All we have to do is say country. And then we want to say count star as country count. OK. And even though that's pink, we're still fine there because it's in those brackets. We're going to say from customers, and of course we have to group by country here. Let's run that, make sure we get some lovely results, and we do. Okay, so that's the number of customers per country. Now we're going to need to use this, and actually we have two of our columns here already. We just need the third column, which is the column in regards to the payment amount. So probably the easiest way to do this is to separate this out as a CTE, and then combine it in with our other uh, query to find the payment aggregate later on here. So we'll make this a CTE like so and we'll say with country we'll just call it country totals as that right there and we've got our CTE alright so now we need to see the number of payments per each of these countries all right so we know we're going to need to select and it's going to be coming from our payments table p and then we know in our select we're going to need to grab a sum of the amount okay and we'll give that an alias now because why not we'll say that's payment total right here okay so we've got that and then, but we need to not just do a sum overall, but we need to have it per the groups that we want. The groups that we want are the countries, the various countries. And those countries are in our customers table. So we need to join customers, C, on P dot uh, customer number equals C dot customer number. Okay, and so then we can be grouping uh, by country with that. Now also, actually though, because the thing is, we need to be able to link in our CTE back into this. And we don't have customer number in there. Um, and that's actually why we can just join it directly to payments. So what we can do here, though, is now we can join in country underscore total z CT on CT dot country equals C dot country. OK, and that's why we have to have customers in here. So we can join on country and then join on customer number to our payments table. And then now that we have that, we can go ahead and do our group by. And so we want to group by the countries themselves. Let's do that from the CT table. I mean, I guess we could do it from customers table, but let's do it from CT. And we're going to say country right there. OK. And then we can also, eh, you know, we'll just leave it at that for now. So if we were to run this, let's see if we get some results. And we do. We get a list of payments, and those are the payment totals for each country. Unfortunately, we don't have the other columns that we need yet. Fortunately, though, those columns are here in our CTE. So now that we have our CTE in the from clause of our outer query, we can add in those columns here. I'm going to be lazy. And I'm going to say ct.star, which is something you can do. So this means that we're going to display all the columns from ct, ct being our country totals table. OK, so now we have that out there. And if we run this, we're going to get an error, though. It's because country totals.country count is not in the group by clause. It's not aggregated either. So we need to throw that down here, too. 
we'll say CT and then country count right there. Whoa. Okay, now let's run it and we get a list of results. Awesome. And to top it off, let's go ahead and order by the country count descending. So we'll say order by country count descending. Run it. And there, my friends, is your final result. Okay? So we've got a list of all the countries, a list of the number of customers in those countries. And, you know, that actually made me more sense if you were to call this customer count instead of country count. Because it's count of the customers, not count of the countries. Goodness! Okay, we're running again. There we go. And then we have a aggregation of the total amount of payments made by customers for the various countries, from the various countries. And not too surprisingly, see that the more customers there are, typically the more payments that they have in total. So we took care of aggregation from two different tables here and went ahead and separated them out, one in the CT and then one in the outer query, to make it all play nicely when we were grouping. Uh, by the various columns that we needed. Okay, that's it for today's challenge. Um, your next challenge is to take on Intro to SQL Querying, our free intro course, or our ultimate SQL querying package. And when we say ultimate, well, we do mean ultimate. <laughs> All right, so that's it for today. See you next time.